HP E6A73 Aruba Certified Switching Professional Exam tests the skills necessary to implement and operate enterprise-level Aruba Campus Switching Solutions. According to the actual HP E6A73 exam objectives and topics, we have released new HP E6A73 exam dumps with the real questions and accurate answers. We ensure that you can pass Aruba Certified Switching Professional Exam HP E6A73 smoothly. How JS Voice Traffic Prioritized Correctly on AOS CX Switches A. By implementing Voice VLANs B. By implementing Weighted Fair Queuing WFQ C. By placing TT in the Strict Priority Queue D. By defining Device Profiles with QoS Settings Answer A. A network engineer is examining NAE graphs from the dashboard but notices that the time shown in the graph does not represent the current time. The engineer verifies that the AOS CX switch is configured for NTP and is successfully synchronized. What should be done to fix this issue? A. Ensure NetEdit and the AOS CX switch are synchronized to the same NTP server. B. Enable trust settings for the AOS CX switch's SSL certificate. C. Ensure the engineer's web browser is configured for the same time zone as the AOS CX switch. D. Ensure the engineer's PC is synchronized to the same NTP server as the AOS CX switch. Answer. D. An administrator in a company of 348 users has a pair of AOS CX switches with connections to external networks both switches are configured for OSPF. The administrator wants to import external routes on both switches, but assigns different seed metrics to the routes, as well as imports them as external Type 1 routes. What is the best way for the administrator to accomplish this? A. Define the root type and metrics in the OSPF process. B. Define a class and policy map with the correct root type and metrics. C. Create a root map with the correct root type and metrics. D. Create a classifier policy with the correct root type and metrics. Answer. C. An administrator will be replacing a campus switching infrastructure with AOS CX switches that support VSX capabilities. The campus involves a core as well as multiple access layers. Which feature should the administrator implement to allow both VSX-capable core switches to process traffic sent to the default gateway in the campus VLANs? A. IP helper B. Active gateway C. VRF D. VRRP Answer B. An administrator wants to track what configuration changes were made on a switch. What should the administrator implement to see the configuration changes on an AOS CX switch? A. 
VSX synchronization logging B. AAA authorization C. Network analysis engine Nay D. AAA authentication Answer C. How does PIM build the IP multicast routing table to route traffic between a multicast source and one or more receivers 9? A. It uses IGMP and calculates a shortest path tree, SPT. B. It uses the shortest path first, SPF, algorithm derived from link state protocols. C. It uses the Bellman-Ford algorithm derived from distance vector protocols. D. It uses the unicast routing table and reverse path forwarding. RPF. Answer. D. What is correct regarding rate limiting and egress queue shaping on AOS CX switches? A. Only a traffic rate and burst size can be defined for a queue. B. Rate limiting and egress queue shaping can be used to restrict inbound traffic. C. Rate limiting and egress queue shaping can be applied globally. D. Limits can be defined only for broadcast and multicast traffic. Answer. A. How is NetEdit installed at a customer location? A. Via the Aruba Central Cloud Solution. B. Via an Aruba Net Edit hardware appliance. C. Via a DVD using a virtualized platform like Microsoft's Hyper-V. D. Via an OVA file and a virtualized platform like VMware's ESXi. Answer. D. A network administrator needs to replace an antiquated access layer solution with a modular solution involving AOS CX switches. The administrator wants to leverage virtual switching technologies. The solution needs to support high availability with dual control planes. Which solution should the administrator implement? A. AOS CX S400 B. AOS CX 8325 C. AOS CX 6400 D. AOS CX 6300 Answer. C. An administrator has an aggregation layer of 8325CX switches configured as a VSX pair. The administrator is concerned that when OSPF network changes occur, the aggregation switches will respond to the changes slowly, and this will affect network connectivity especially VoIP calls, in the connected access layer switches. What should the administrator do on the aggregation layer switches to alleviate this issue? A. Implement bidirectional forwarding detection, BFD. B. Reduce the hello and dead interval timers. C. Implement root aggregation. D. Implement graceful restart. Answer. A.